So we continue with our uh, operation chaining. And uh, for this part, uh, we got uh, unboxing and uh, device adding. This is a product showcase of our uh, wireless alarm X Pro Hub family. So in the middle of it is our X Pro panel. And we also got other peripherals such as PIR detector, emergency button, wireless key fob, and uh, keypad. And uh, this is the appearance of the products. Uh, this is the unboxing picture of the X Pro Hub. So inside the box, we got the panel and uh, the power adapter and uh, the tag. Uh, actually, these tags uh, depend on the model. Some models doesn't provide the tags. And uh, this is the appearance of the panel. So I will introduce you uh, by the slides first, and then I will show you on my mobile phone. So there are three ways to connect the hub to cloud, to our HIK Connect. Uh, first is use HIK Connect to connect hub by Wi-Fi. And then secondly, you can use LAN port, which is a network cable to connect the hub with LAN. And uh, you can also use SIM card to connect the hub to the, panel, uh, to the cloud. So let's check out our first method add the device by, uh, by Wi-Fi. So it's also quite simple. You just need to scan the QR code on the backboard of the panel. You open the mobile phone, the HackerNet, and then you scan the QR code and uh, click press next, and then choose wireless connection because you want to add the device by Wi-Fi. Then you need to choose the wireless connection. And uh, this is the operation video. So uh, uh, I need to highlight that uh, our panel doesn't support 5G, uh, 5G Wi-Fi. It can only support 2.4G uh, Wi-Fi. So you just need to input the password of your home Wi-Fi to the device. Then you will connect the uh, you will connect the hub, connect the alarm panel to our HIK cloud. So this is how you add the device to cloud by Wi-Fi. There are only four steps. We can review again. Uh, first, um, you need to scan the QR code, and then you choose the uh, connection types, wireless connection. And then uh, you input the password of the Wi-Fi, and then you click connect to a network. And then a uh, second method is connect the hub to cloud by SIM card. So you just need to insert the SIM card. You, you need to make sure the SIM card has money, has data. So you just need to insert the SIM card to the SIM card slot. And then you power on the device and wait till the cloud status indicator turns green. After this indicator turns green, which means uh, this device is already on cloud you will automatically register to our HIK cloud. So after the indicator is green, you just need to scan the QR code and then click add. You can see the operation video here. It's also quite simple and uh, convenient.
and the uh, third method is connect to cloud by router which means by the network cable so you need to connect the hub with router using the network cable and uh, wait until the status light turns green same as the sim card you need to wait this cloud status indicators turns green after it turns green you just need to scan the QR code again So quite simple, right? And uh, this is a reset button of the device. And the next is about the peripherals adding. So maybe, uh, maybe now I show you with my mobile phone. X Pro Hub kit. So in this kit, let's check out uh, what we got inside the box. So here we got the uh, panel, X Pro panel, and also we have a PIR detector and the wireless key fob and the door magnetic detector. So this is for our uh, wireless alarm kit. And uh, we also got a siren. This is our outdoor siren. It is quite big. It's blue light. And uh, this is our PIR detector. Uh, PIR cam, PIR cam detector. So as we can see here, this is our uh, wireless alarm panel. Here we can see the system indicator. So this uh, this red light, red alert, means there is fault in the panel or the detectors, and uh, this green cloud means the device is registered to HIK cloud, and uh, this is the power supply uh, indicators. And then uh, this is our PIR detector. This is the key fob. We got. Uh, four buttons, uh, arming, away uh, arming and uh, disarming. And uh, these are the function keys. You can configure the function of these keys. And uh, this is a door magnetic detector. This is our PIR cam. As we can see, it got a building camera. Okay, then we proceed with our operation. I need to add the panel to our HIK connect. So first you just need to open the back bracket. And then after you open the bracket, you can see the interface here. This is the power supply interface. And uh, this is the network cable interface. This is the SIM card. For the medium, for the medium level, you got two SIM card slots. And uh, then we add this device to our high connect. You open the high connect app, and then you click the add button here, scan QR code, and then you scan this QR code on the back of it. And then you click add uh, because I already add this device before. So you want to show the network Wi-Fi configuration. Uh, if your device is newly uh, open, then you will show the Wi-Fi configuration page. You just need to follow the operation video uh, I played before. Then I click add. Adding complete.
So as we can see the uh, notification here, did open, which means the bracket of the panel is open. So I put it back. So we can hear that the alarm voice is stopped. So this is you. This is how you add the panel. You just need to scan the QR code and then configure the Wi-Fi of it. Then you can add the device to the HIK Connect. After we add the device, we can also check out the system configuration options of it. You just need to uh, uh, click the button here, enter the settings page. Here we got user management where you can configure different user for different permissions. For example, you can configure admin or operator. So this is a user configuration and the car tech configuration. If your device support tech radar, then you can add tech here. And for system settings, system configuration. Here you can uh, configure the device language and the time zone. Uh, this time zone is quite important because if the time zone is not correct, maybe uh, in the future, uh, you won't receive the notification in time. So you need to make sure the time zone is in the correct zone. And the uh, system options here got a lot of settings such as system management, and here you can also adjust the system volume of the panel, maximum 10. And here got panel for check and the arm options, enroll, enrollment mode. If you enter the enrollment mode, you can enroll, you can enroll the detectors to the device. So uh, this is, how you add the peripherals to the panel. And uh, this is the area settings. You can enable and disable the area. And uh, you can also set the arming schedule for the area, auto arm and the auto disarm. You set the auto arm time and the auto disarm time. Then this area will arming by the schedule. So it's also quite convenient. And uh, here are some communication parameter settings. And here you can configure the data network settings. You can enable and disable the data network. You can also set a usage limit of it per month. And uh, here you can configure the uh, parameters of your SIM card. Uh, actually, these parameters are depends on the SIM card company. So you just need to Google the info, all the information needed on, uh, on the Google. And uh, this is the push notification for third party CMS alarm receiving center. And uh, this is the app configuration, app notification configuration. Uh, what kinds of notification you want to receive, you just need to enable here, such as the panic alarm, uh, Zoom alarm, lead open. And then here you can also add phone number to receive call and SMS. You just need to input the mobile phone number. Okay, this is about the communication parameter setting. And uh, here is the maintenance settings. You can reboot the device and check the device version. And here you can also uh, configure the Wi-Fi network. If you want to change your Wi-Fi network, you can just configure here. And uh, this is a uh, authorization uh, service. Actually, this is this is for the HIK Pro Connect services. Okay, this is about our panel settings, and uh, at this page you can see three main interface. First is area, 
all your areas will be uh, will be displayed here. And uh, this is the device interface. Uh, all detectors will be displayed will be displayed displayed here. And uh, this is the status of the alarm panel. You can check the real time power supply status and uh, Ethernet status, Wi-Fi status, mobile network, battery status. Okay, this is about our uh, panel. And on the bottom of it, we got four buttons. So first one is away arm. Away arming. And this is the network error, just need to continue. System armed. And uh, the second button is home arming. And the third button, disarming. And the last button, Last button is alarm silence, clear alarm. Okay, this is the page of, of the panel. Next, uh, I will add the detectors to our panel. So let's add the PIR detector first. This is our PIR detector. You need to open the screw with screwdriver. Uh, after you open it, you can see there is a power switch here, on and off. This is a, this is in off mode. So before you add the device, before you add the detector, you need to make sure the switch is in off. So you go to app and scan the QR code of the panel, uh, of the detector. You go to here, device, and click add button. As you can see here, you need to turn on the power switch within 30 seconds. So I turn on the switch. Okay, as we can see, the wireless detector is added to the panel. And uh, here is the settings of the wireless detector. You can change the name of it, and uh, you can link to certain area, area one, area two, or area three. And uh, you can also select zoom type, instant or delay, and also got other functions. And uh, here we also provide signal strength test. You can check the signal between the detector and the, the panel. And uh, this is the detection zone test. You also got bypass function. When the arming, when you arm the system, you can also turn on this uh, bypass uh, mode to bypass this detector. You also got the find me function. So this is uh, how you add the wireless detector. And here we can also check the status of it. As we can see here, we can see the signal strength and the battery. And uh, the, this, uh, the last indicator is, uh, is the lid open. Means the detector, the bracket is open. Okay, um, next I will add the uh, door magnetic. Okay, this is our uh, door magnetic. It comes with the uh, X-Pro kit. And uh, this one you just need to install on the door.
Okay. This is the back of the uh, door magnetic. As we can see, there's also a power switch here. So now it's in off mode. So I go to app, I go to uh, high connect and then click add device. And then I scan the QR code on it. And then I power on the device, power on the detector. I turn the switch to on. So actually it's just same as the wireless PIR detector. And also for our door magnetic, the battery can last uh, up to five years. So it is quite long lifespan, long lifespan. And uh, here is the setting page of the door magnetic. Uh, actually, most of the functions are same as the PIR detector, such as uh, the zoom type, stay arm pass, for B pass, silent alarm, charm. Also, we can see here, uh, there is a external contact, external contact, and uh, as I mentioned before, this is used for the wired sensor. You can connect the existing wired sensor to our wireless door magnetic. Then we will transfer this signal to wireless uh, panel. So here you can enable and disable the external contact. We got two interface of it. So this is our door magnetic. And next, I will add our PIR can. This is our PIR can. Also, uh, it's just as same as the PIR detector. You need to open the bracket of it. Okay, <clears throat> this is our back of the PIR camp. It, it requires three battery. And uh, you also got the power switch here. It's also in off mode. So I just need to scan the QR code and then I turn on the power switch. Okay, so this is how you add the PIR cam. And uh, this is the setting page of it. So uh, we go back to here, device page. We enter the web, uh, PIR cam. And then here we can see there is a um, capture button here. So we can capture the picture of the PIR cam. Let me take a picture. Capture, wait a moment to get notification. So I go back to uh, here, manual report test. This is the picture I just captured. So this is our two in one uh, detector, PIR cam, got camera function and the PIR detector function. And uh, this is the real time status of the PIR cam, temperature, battery, uh, signal, and the other status. And uh, this is a setting page of it. Okay, so basically this is how you add the detectors. And uh, as we can see here, uh, I got three, I got three detectors but I don't have the admin tools such as uh, remote. So uh, I need to add the remote. Uh, 
to our panel. And uh, this, this is our remote. Actually, it's also same as other devices. You just need to scan the QR code here using the HIK Connect. Here you click add and the scan QR code here. You just need to press any key on the key fob. Let me try again. Mm, I think maybe it's because I added this device before. So I need to format. I need to format the key fob first. Let me format this device. Let's try again. Okay, so this is our remote key fob. Here you can also link the key fob to certain user and you can also configure the button on it. So we got two uh, function button. You can choose the function of it, such as silence alarm, silent panic alarm, uh, audible medical alarm, and the uh, we can also configure com combination uh, key settings, which means you need to press two keys to do the operation. So this is the key fob settings. And here you can also check the status of the battery data and uh, the key status. Okay, so this is how you add the key fob. And then I want to show you our video verification function uh, where you can link our detector to the CCTV system. So you select one detector, for example, like this PIR detector, and then you enter the settings page, and then you scroll down, go to the link camera. Here, got a link camera function. So you enter this page, you will display the all the camera in the same network with the wireless alarm hub. So you just need to choose the uh, IP camera here, and then you click link. Then you will link the CCTV to the alarm panel. So when the alarm is triggered, you will send the video verification to the mobile phone. Mm. Let me um the PR detector first. Also, I want to show you how to uh, assign the detector to different areas. As you can see, I got three de detectors here, but all of these detectors are in area one. So how can I change the, how do I put the P 
PIR detector to other areas such as area two. You just need to uh, go to here, go to the settings page, and then change the area, link area, choose area two. Okay. And uh, go back. Now the PIR detector is in area two. And uh, let me arm um, the area two. Okay. You can also click on the area to arm the system, arm the area. And uh, I trigger the alarm. Okay, then let's check our notification. This is a burglary alarm. Playback. So uh, if your camera is in, uh, is in working status, then you will show, you will send the video recording to your app. So you just need to click playback here to check the video verification. I think my camera got some issue, so it failed to search the video. Okay. So this is about our video verification. Okay. Uh, oh, and then uh, I want to show you our uh, auto siren. Okay, uh, so this is our auto siren. And uh, I need to add the siren to our panel. It's also same as other devices. You just need to scan the QR code at the back of it, and then you turn on the power switch. So let me add this device. First, you need to unscrew the bracket of it. Okay, here you can see the back of the siren. It, need, it requires four battery. This is, this is in the wireless mode, but it also supports uh, the wired power supply. You can connect uh, wired supply, power supply here. So I scan the QR code here. And then I turn on the switch, power switch. Okay. So the siren is added. And uh, this is the settings page of the siren. You can link to certain area. And then you can also change the system volume. One, two, three, maximum three. And uh, you can also uh, change the alarm duration. And uh, if you don't want the lights turn on, you can disable here. And uh, you can also disable the uh, buzzer and the LED detector indicator. So let's check out uh, the function of it. I will arm the PIR detector again. And then I trigger the alarm. Area two. I mean, failed. Okay. 
Sister Nanda. And then I should. Oh my God. So uh, as we can hear, the volume of it is quite uh, quite high. And then you also got the strobe lights. Maybe let me turn off the uh, turn off the sound and try again. Siren. Can you repeat this on? So as you can see, you got a strobe light. This is the flashlight of the siren. Okay, this is the operation of our X Pro Hub wireless alarm panel. So, do you have any questions about the operation? Uh, hello, Yong Lim. Can the system work without using high connect? Uh, actually, for this product, uh, you need to use with the high connect because uh, the default uh, the uh, default user account and the password is the high connect account and password. So you need to use with the high connect. If you don't want to use uh, without, if you don't want to use with the high connect, you can use our first generation alarm hub. This is our second generation uh, X Pro Hub. Uh, hello, Justin. Max is four partitions. Actually, for this model, uh, is up to thirty-two. Let me check all areas. Uh, for this model, it supports uh, 16 area. And uh, for the medium level, it supports up to 32 area. And uh, may I know how many zoom? Uh, live version is 16 zoom. And uh, for the medium version, it's 32. Uh, do you have any other questions? Any other questions?
Okay, if there's no questions, uh, then that's all for our X-Pro Hub uh, Wireless Alarm Training today. So thank you for joining the training. Thank you for supporting HIK Vision. And welcome to our next training in the future. Thank you. Okay, I will end the session. Good day to you. Goodbye. Okay, thank you for joining the training today. Later, we will email you the slide and the training recording.